hello friends welcome to my channel i hope you all are happy and healthy so you you can see that it's been over a year after my hair transplant and this is how my hair condition looks like and this is how it looks from the donor side and the other side and the side hairstyle this is how it looks like from the front so i plan to get a haircut from a professional this time so after over a year i went to the barber shop and this is this is just a video for fun i took it before getting the haircut so yes uh, i got haircut after one year from barber previously i was doing it myself so this is how it looks like the white hair without henna after haircut this is how it looks like so almost 50 percent of my hair are gray so i apply henna on my head to cover the gray hair and it gives natural conditioning also to the hair so that's why i apply henna twice a month apart from henna i apply hair oil for that i'll make a separate video and apart from that i apply uh, aloe vera gel on my hair as well so just after haircut i am applying this henna on my hair to give a better color and uh, you know the gray hair doesn't look good so i prefer henna light orange color hair so that looks better and more stylish and that henna is a natural conditions conditioner so it doesn't harm your hair and previously i was doing hair color and which harmed my hair a lot and that was the main reason my star hair started falling in the first time so this is how uh, my hair look like after washing it uh, after washing the henna from my hair so these are the wet hair uh, after shampoo when the hair is dry they look more fuller more dense but i'm showing you the true picture the complete truth not the fluffy hair just after conditioner and shampoo i'm showing you the my correct and accurate hair transplant result in wet hair and in perfect light so you can see that the light is shining on my hair and uh, this is just after the shower the hair are completely wet and this is how it looks like when my hair are completely wet so you can see that the hair are okay i have enough coverage in the frontal part so that i don't have any bald patches or very thinned areas there is some issue in this uh, left hand side from where i do the combing this side little bit density issue but still it's okay and that's why in my always in my all videos i always say that get your hair transplant done from a best clinic as possible you can because you know you do hair transplant only once and you want to get a best result so this is how my hair looks like after just after the shower and when they are completely wet this is how it looks like so i think the result is okay i have enough density in the frontal part you can see that this is how the donor area looks like when the hair is wet so the donor area is completely healed there is no uh, bad extraction you can say from donor area so this is kind of okay so this is how it looks like i'm refocusing the image so that you can see the image better so yeah this is how it looks like just after the shower so i got my hair cut done after one year and uh, previously my donor area you can say the back side it looks like this because i would do i was doing haircut by myself and now it looks like kind of even throughout so i think this is better than what i was doing myself and this is how it looks like in the frontal part uh, you can see that the worry lines on my forehead so that's why i always emphasize on managing your stress you should not have those worry lines or you can say wrinkles on your forehead so you have to manage your stress so that you don't have those wrinkles on your forehead so apart from that this is how my hair looks like when they are completely dry previously in the video i was showing you how it looks like when they are completely wet and this is the full round circle so you can see from this side it is still fine i'll comb my hair and i'll show you also so this is how it looks like when i comb my hair from to towards the back so you can see that there is some density issue here but still it's okay manageable this is the problem area you can see this is the problem area where i have kind of density issue the hair transplant is not done very well when i see the transplanted image just after that i can see that there were very few grafts transplanted in the frontal part therefore i don't have much density and that's why you need the best surgeon and the best clinic in my case i got deceived so so be aware guys you should it, this should not happen with you so this is how it looks like when my hair are completely dry and after haircut i have applied henna so they are look, the color of the hair is looking better and that's why my the den there is some density issue and that's why i do hairstyle like this so after shampoo the hair are looking straight but my hair is kind of wavy pattern you can still see there is there are some waves happening in the hairstyle and that's why i do my hairstyle like this because if i if i do the hair styling from the middle uh, the hair get messy and they go all over so that's why 
because of the wavy pattern of the hair the hair is uh, hair is unmanageable if they are if i don't wash them or do not shampoo them regularly it's not kind of unmanageable so this is how my hair style looks like after the haircut so i think it's pretty okay for a person who was not having hair or very thin hair previously so you can see in the images which i have put on the side that how was my hair condition before there was considerable thinning on the side the thinning is still there but it's a kind of better than before you can see in the images even in the long hair and the short hair i have shared both the images so you can judge by yourself so it's it's still okay and above that i am not using minoxidil or fenestride or dutasteride i am this hair transplant result is completely natural what i do is i apply hair oil and after hair oil that aloe vera gel and i apply henna twice uh, in a month and i eat almonds every day and i am taking a supplement for sao palmetto supplement so this is how i am doing my managing and maintaining my hair transplant result this hair transplant result is completely natural without fenestride dutasteride or minoxidil and you can see that this is how my donor area looks like and after henna applying henna the color is kind of better previously it was all over so that mix hair of gray white and yellow black so it doesn't look good that's why i apply henna it's a natural color and natural conditioner and you can see there are not a lot of uh, thinned spot or the extraction spots so my donor area extraction is also i would say it's kind of okay there are few spots if i show you closely but uh, in a general overview the you the few spots which i have because of the bad extraction they are not at all visible and still you can see the density is quite nice if i want to have another hair transplant i have enough hair you can say okay so this is how it looks like the donor part one thing i must mention which i have seen in other hair transplant uh, youtubers is that just to make their result look good they are applying all sorts of chemicals all sorts of uh, prp and minoxidil dutasteride and different type of uh, uh, you know the medicines but uh, once they stop those medicines you know their hair transplant result will fail miserably whatever they have uh, gained the result they will go in just 6 months that's how my hair fall is start it because of bad hair color and then i went to a doctor and took heavy dosage of uh, fenestride and minoxidil and that's how my hair fall was really bad and 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 i went to a condition th that the hair transplant was only option for me so i am totally against long term medication uh, and applying hair chemical on your head so this is how the before and after uh, photos are there so i hope you like this so these are the before and after photos and i think uh, professional haircut is making my hair look so the bad. natural result you can maintain it for a long period of time but all those chemical and medicines will harm your hair in the end so i hope you like this video please like comment share and subscribe thanks a lot for watching